What's up guys, this is again Shrix from SmartHerd. Now in this video, we are going to talk about floating contextual menu in Android. So let us first have a look what is a floating contextual menu. Now the image that is coming in front of you is actually a floating contextual menu. When you click on any of the list item, then a menu occurs. Now this appearance is actually known as a floating contextual menu. This menu contains a list of items and all these items are related to a single item. Right? If you want to delete this item, you can delete it. If you want to save this item in your external storage, then you can do it. Or you can perform various other operations depending on what you have entered inside a contextual menu. So let me show you an illustrative example inside the Android Studio. Now in order to save time, I have already written all the codes that is required for this demo tutorial. Now. Inside the menu, I have written floating contextual menu.xml. Inside this file, I have defined this custom schema, app, then resource auto or whatever. Now this app I have used here, app show as action never, app show as action never, and I have given title to each item settings, cancel, edit, exit, and log out. So in this way, this completes our floating contextual menu. Fine. Now inside the activity main.xml what I am having, I am just having a single button. Now this button we are going to register to display a contextual floating menu. So how do we perform this? So inside the main activity.java I have initialized that button. This is the button and this is the complete initialization of the button. And finally we have registered for context menu, we have passed this button view inside this method. Now this method what it is going to do? It is going to target this button. Hey, this button will give me a contextual floating menu. So after this our next step is to initialize is to override a method on create context menu. Now inside the on create context menu we are having the menu inflator which is inflating the floating contextual menu. Now this floating context menu is nothing but this floating context menu.xml that we have stored inside our menu folder. Clear? Now this menu is actually what? A context menu. Fine. So nothing complex till now. It is quite simple. Now guys, when each of the item is clicked, then a method is called on and that method is actually known as on context item selected. Fine. So when one of the item is selected, suppose setting is selected, then this toast message will be displayed. And similarly, we are providing the functionality for cancel button, edit button, exit button and so on. And in each case, we are returning a true value. And by default, we are returning a false value. Fine. So this completes our codes. So what are the steps? Create a context menu, which contains the floating menu items. Then inside the activity main, define a layout that is going to be registered for the contextual menu. Fine. In our case, we have a button that is registered for this contextual menu. Clear? Now, define the on create context menu to inflate what? To inflate our floating context menu. And then register a method that is going to be called when a menu item is clicked. Fine. So these are the cases with the respective functionality. So let's not waste time guys and let us run our application. So here our application is running. Now if you single click on this button then nothing happens. So you must be thinking hey what the heck I have registered this button for the contextual menu by this single line. But the thing is the contextual menu only happens if you are going to press this button for long time then it is going to trigger the contextual menu in front of you. Bam! Here is our contextual menu. Settings, cancel, edit, exit and log out. If you click anywhere outside this box, then this menu is going to disappear. Fine. Now again press long it. Yeah. Settings, cancel, edit, exit and log out. Now let us press settings. Yes. Settings click. Again long press it. Click on edit. Yeah. It is working perfectly fine. So pretty simple guys. The steps are totally clear. Hope the things are clear in your mind guys. So this is all for this video guys. So please comment on this video, like this video, share this video and help us to grow so that we can come up with more such videos for you. Thank you.